I'll just never understand how you get this much money for doing this job. Hi, me again. And yeah, we're going to talk about football pundits again. And I'm not having a dig. I promise you, I'm not. If you can be worth that amount of money, good luck to you. I wish I was. I'll never get to that level. Never. Not in a million years will I get to that level. So I'm not having a dig. Good for you if you can earn that amount of money. It's just, it's a staggering amount of money for the amount of work required. Do you not think? And this one's about Alan Shearer, because I think Alan Shearer has been taking a cheeky little leaf out of our favourite Gary Lineker's book, because he's been making a few quid on the side. And we're, then we talk about Lineker again, obviously, because how can you have one of these stories without mentioning good old Gary, eh? Alan Shearer has been celebrating a handsome Christmas bonus after topping up his six-figure BBC salary by moonlighting for Amazon Prime. The former England striker earns a staggering £455,000 thanks to the licence fee payer as a pundit on the corporation's weekly programme, Match of the Day, as well as one-off tournaments. So most of the year he's working one, maybe two days a week unless there's a major tournament on. And for that he is rewarded with £455,000 which sounds like an enormous amount of money for that much work. I mean, let's not forget that Gary Lineker earns almost three times that. We'll take that out of the equation for now and focus on that. £455,000. And again, I'm not having a dig. If you can be worth that amount of money, more power to you. I wish I was. <laughs> I wish I was for that little amount of work. But I work many, many hours and don't get anywhere even close to that. Not even if you took the four off the front, I'm still not even close to that. It's mad, isn't it? It's mad. While it's unknown what Shearer is paid by Amazon, the subscription service has a huge budget for its sports coverage. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like he's putting more hours in on Amazon in the last week than he has on BBC. So if he continues that, you've got to say they're going to match his salary, right? So it could be another 400, 500 grand in his bin. Little touch, eh? Cheeky little number, that. But Lineker's doing it and all. In recent years, the BBC has allowed its talent to work across different television networks so it does not lose them, despite their high wages. Yeah, because I remember hearing years ago there was a few BBC presenters, notably Jeremy Clarkson of Top Gear, said that he's not allowed to go off and do commercial deals elsewhere or go and present stuff on other telly channels, even though he wouldn't mind looking into that because he wasn't allowed to by the BBC. So the BBC changed the rules so that talent can go off and work elsewhere, as long as they keep their BBC contracts, just to keep them happy. Good thing, bad thing, doesn't bother me in the slightest at all. But it does bring us good stories. I mean, Gary is absolutely raking it in, isn't he? Shearer's Match of the Day co-star, Gary Lineker, also took advantage of the lapsing regulations in 2015 when he joined BT Sport to anchor its Champions League coverage. Even though he is the BBC's highest paid star, he quit that role last year and now presents on Spain's La Liga TV. So Gary gets 1.35 million quid a year from UTV licence fee payers out there. And in his defence, he did take a pay cut. He was getting more than that. He took a voluntary pay cut. That's how nice that man is. He cut his own salary down to 1.35, but he's still the BBC's highest earner that we know of from the BBC itself. We can't find out what BBC Studios pays Attenborough and stuff like that, right? But what about like the news presenters that work five days a week, nine hours a day, that don't even get half what he gets? I don't understand how he's worth that amount of money. I don't understand how Shearer's worth that amount of money. You must be able to get an ex-footballer that can talk just as good as them and have just as good insight for a hundred grand a year just because they want to be on the telly. Yeah, you know, Lineker's getting 1.35 from the BBC, plus God knows what La Liga's paying him. They're probably paying him about the same, because Movistar and La Liga have quite a few quid, don't they? And before that, it doesn't mention here, he did work presenting football for Al Jazeera, based in Qatar, even though he had some interesting points to say about that during a certain football tournament, or before a certain football tournament recently, even though he was making 400 grand a year off Al Jazeera. So, yeah, again, I'm not really having a dig. I'd love to be worth that amount of money. And if I was, I'd be defending my job to the hill. But it just seems an abnormal amount of money for the job, doesn't it? But then that is, that's football all over, really, isn't it? What do you think about this, then? It's a lot of money, isn't it? Well, tell me what you think down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Because that way, hopefully I'll see you in another video again soon when I... Ta-da.